Two pipes A and B together fill a cistern in four hours. Had they been opened separately, then B would have taken six hours more than A to fill the cistern. How much time will be taken by A to fill the cistern separately? Well, let us assume that the time taken to fill the tank completely by A is X hours. So it is given that B takes six hours more than A to fill the system. So B will be X plus six hours. Now we have been given that two pipes A and B together can fill a cistern in four hours. So we can calculate the amount of cistern filled by both A and B in one hour. It is equal to the part filled by A in one hour and that's one by X plus the part filled by B in one hour and that's one by X plus six. And this is equal to we have been given that together they fill the cistern in four hours. So in one hour they will fill one fourth of the cistern. So you have an equation here. Let us see what the equation is. So you have x plus 6 plus x divided by x square plus 6x equals to 1 by 4. So this is x square minus 2x minus 24 is equals to 0 when you solve it. And this is a quadratic equation. When you solve it, you'll get two roots. One root of x will be equal to 6 and another root of x will be equal to minus 4. So you can always ignore the negative values. You can take the positive values. So x is equal to 6. And what is x? Well, x is the time taken by A to fill the tank completely. So it is 6 hours. And that's what is asked. How much time will be taken by A to fill the cistern separately? So that is 6 hours. So option C is the correct answer. A tank is filled in 5 hours by 3 pipes A, B and C. The pipe C is twice as fast as B and B is twice as fast as A. How much time will pipe A alone take to fill the tank? Now let us assume that the time taken to fill the tank completely by A is X hours. Now it is given that B is twice as fast as A. This means that B will take half the time to complete the work. That is B will take half the time to fill the tank completely. So time taken by B will be X by 2. And it is also given that pipe C is twice as fast as B. Again it means that the pipe C will take half the time taken by B and time taken by B is X by 2. Half of that will be X by 4 hours. Okay, now it is given that the tank is filled in 5 hours by 3 pipes A, B and C. So let us calculate how much of the tank is filled in 1 hour when these 3 pipes are on A, B and C. Well, it is given that the tank is filled in 5 hours by all of these 3 pipes. So it is equal to 1 by 5. But this is also equal to the amount of tank filled in by A in 1 hour plus the amount of tank filled in by B in 1 hour and the amount of tank filled in by C in 1 hour. So this will be equals to the amount of tank filled in by A in 1 hour will be equals to 1 by X plus by B will be 1 by X by 2 that will be 2 by X plus amount filled in by C in 1 hour will be 1 by X by 4 that will be 4 by x. So you have 1 by 5 is equals to in the denominator you have x in the numerator you have 1 plus 2 plus 4. So this is equals to 7 by x. So therefore x is equals to 5 times 7 and that's 35 hours. So 35 hours is the time taken by A alone to fill the tank. So option C is the correct answer. A large tanker can be filled by two pipes A and B in 60 minutes and 40 minutes respectively. How many minutes will it take to fill the tanker from empty states if B is used for half the time and A and B fill it together for the other half? Well let us first calculate the part filled by B in one minute and it is equals to 1 by 40 because B fills the tank in 40 minutes so part filled by B in 1 minute will be equals to 1 by 40. 
right now let us calculate the part filled by both a and b in one minute it will be equals to the part filled by a in one minute plus the part filled by b in one minute and that's 1 by 60 plus 1 by 40 and that is equal to you will get 1 by 24 now let the total time to fill the tank from empty state to full be x minutes right now it is given that b is used for half the time so the part filled in half the time by b will be equals to half of the time is x by 2 times the part filled in 1 minute by b so times 1 by 40 plus the other half is filled by a and b together so plus again half of the time is x by 2 times you have the part filled in 1 minute by a and b is 1 by 24 and that is equals to 1 because when you add both the parts you you have a full tank and that's 1 so now you can solve it you have x by 80 plus you have x by 48 is equals to 1 when you'll solve this equation you'll get the value of x as 30 so 30 minutes is the total time taken to fill the tank option D is the correct answer two pipes can fill a tank in 20 and 24 minutes respectively and a waste pipe can empty three gallons per minute all the three pipes working together can fill the tank in 15 minutes what is the capacity of the tank You know, we can calculate the part emptied by the waste pipe in one minute. Well, how do you calculate that? We will take the amount of tank filled in by all of the three pipes. That means filled in by two pipes and emptied by the waste pipe in one minute. Well, all the three pipes working together can fill the tank in 15 minutes. In one minute, the amount of tank filled is 1 by 15. And we will subtract the amount of tank filled by the two pipes working together in one minute so minus 1 by 20 plus 1 by 24 and this will give you the part emptied by the waste pipe in one minute so that's equals to 1 by 15 minus 11 by 120 and that will give you minus 1 by 40 don't worry about the minus sign it shows that the tank is getting emptied now it is also given that the waste pipe can empty three gallons per minute and from our calculations the waste pipe empties 1 by 40 of the total capacity of the tank it means that 1 by 40 is equivalent to three gallons right so what is asked is what is the capacity of the tank so the full capacity of the tank will be considered as one so how much gallons do they correspond to so cross multiply and equate we get x by 40 is equals to 3 so x is equals to 3 times 40 and that is 120 gallons so our answer is option C 120 gallons is the capacity of the tank